Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So today I'm going to answer the question, do circumstances matter? And which ones actually matter if they do? Just before I dive into it, guys, I put out a new course, how to create the relationship you love. It's amazing. You can check out the link in the description below, click on courses, and you can find it on our website. And guys, remember, we are having a contest when you get to a hundred when we get to a hundred thousand subscribers we're giving away three free coaching sessions to three separate people one each and um yeah with your coach of your choice all you need to do to enter is to subscribe share our videos as well as comment what have you manifested using the law of attraction law of assumption um yeah so by commenting what you've actually manifested as maybe something someone else is working on and you're inspiring them and giving them hope so yes let's dive right into this i'm really excited so i did a video recently about how to get to a third party and um and um, basically, what, there was a lot of questions about, you know, about ignoring your current reality as to, you know, acknowledging it. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that as well. But the first thing we're going to go through is do circumstances matter? And the answer is only if they if you think that they do. OK, because. Honestly, they don't. Nothing matters. No circumstance matters, okay? It's only if you think the circumstance matters and then you actually create it to actually matter and to, you know, to be a problem, okay? So I'm going to explain a little bit of how we create with the law of attraction, law of assumption, okay? So the basis of it is everyone is you pushed out, okay? Meaning all of your thoughts that you have jet out to everybody in the world. Your reality doesn't come in this way. It goes out that way from you, okay? And then you see the reflection of your thoughts in your 3D, okay? So what that means is when I have a thought saying, well, you know, I want Jerry to call me, he thinks, oh, I should call Amanda. And Jerry thinks it's his idea because my thought went into his head, okay? And this is happening constantly on a constant basis in your reality, okay? So circumstances don't matter, but you can't ignore them. If you ignore something, you're basically denying it, you're resisting it, okay? So I think a lot of times in like, you know, the law of attraction community as a whole, they say, ignore your circumstances, ignore your current reality. Well, and I've said it myself too, but we don't really mean ignore it and deny that it's there. We mean change your story, acknowledge it, and then don't just stop there, right? Don't react to it. Don't make it a big deal. Don't make it a big thing. It's about changing it and going, okay, that showed up. I don't like it. I want this instead. Okay, so here's an example in a relationship. I wanted to move in with Andrew a oh, long time ago. And I remember I had a thought that he didn't want to have another relationship because he had baggage from previous relationship. And when I said, well, let's move in together, you're here all the time anyway, that's exactly what he reflected back to me. Okay. So when we say circumstances don't matter, it doesn't matter that he said that, but can I sit there and ignore it and pretend it didn't happen and go, no, that didn't happen. No, I can't because I got to take that piece of information that got reflected back to me because that was programmed into my subconscious mind, obviously, because that came back and I've got to reevaluate it. Do I really want to create that? Do I really want that in my reality? And then the answer obviously is going to be no, because we live together now. So I started saying, well, Andrew's over his baggage and he's ready to move in with me because I'm good enough. Okay. So when we say ignore your current reality, ignore your circumstances, really what people are saying is don't react to them, don't make a big deal out of it. All you need to do to change anything in your life is just acknowledge it, recognize that it's there, and then go, do I really want that? No, I don't want that, and change it to the next thing that you do want. If it's reflecting back in your reality, it's already there, okay? So for me to go, you know, no, 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 let's say I would ignore the fact that he said that he had baggage, okay? And I just went, no, I want him to move in with me. I want him to move in with me. Well, trust me, I was already saying that for six months, and I wasn't addressing the fact, though, that I created him with baggage, right? So this is how partial manifestations come, is when we don't change the entire story. We need to change the entire story to be able to take it to the next level, because you'll get what they call partial manifestations or even birds before land. You'll start seeing bits and pieces of your manifestation coming in. And I do remember, I said, I intend that Andrew does want to move in with me, but I didn't address the fact that he had baggage because I thought that a while ago, totally forgot about it. And then when I said, well, why don't we move in together? He's like, well, I would like to move in with you, but I have baggage. 
And so there was a part of manifestation. He wanted to, but then that was stopping him, okay? Because both of those thoughts have to manifest. The universe doesn't just say, okay, look it. You want him to move in with you. You want him to love you. It doesn't erase everything else you've created previously, okay? Because our thoughts are things. Imagine them as little sticky notes that stick to people, okay? Every thought and assumption that you have about somebody sticks to them. And the sum total of all of those thoughts and assumptions creates the person that you see in front of you. Okay. So, you know, you want to address what comes up. Okay. But you don't want to react over it. You don't want to make a big deal about it. You don't want to dwell on it. It doesn't need to be dwelled on as easily as you created someone with baggage or someone having a third party or whatever, as easily as you've done that, you can change it just by acknowledging it and changing it. So circumstances don't matter unless you think they matter. Okay. So for instance, you know, the circumstance in my situation would have been that Andrew had baggage from a previous relationship. And that would have been a circumstance. And I thought it mattered. And if I think it matters, then it does matter. Okay. But if I don't think it matters, I can easily just say, okay, no, I intend that he's over it and he's over his baggage. He realizes I'm not his ex. And now this is what he wants. Okay. So it's about reevaluating the sticky notes that you've stuck to somebody. Okay. So this is how you avoid getting these partial manifestations or these little birds before land coming. I know a lot of you guys have been, you know, intending, okay, that your specific person says this, 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 and then somebody else out of the blue comes up and says it. Why? because there's a story attached to the other one that you haven't acknowledged and addressed and changed, okay? Does that make sense? I know that makes sense. <laughs> so no, circumstances don't matter. You need to stay on top of your thoughts. Now, how do you get to the point where you believe your circumstances don't matter? Okay, because I know when you're starting out, it can be hard to go, well, you know what? from past history that's mattered. You know, they said they would never change their mind. They said once they decide something, it's final. And now we create that as a circumstance that actually matters. Well, we build our belief in creating and how we create and how we build our belief in it is we create in other areas of our lives. We constantly stay on top of our thoughts. As we stay on top of our thoughts and we create in all these other areas of our lives, all of a sudden we start to see how much of an impact our thoughts actually have. Okay, so one of the most famous things that I recommend doing other than a mental diet is to actually write out a bunch of little tiny manifestations, okay? If you want to see red roses, I always see blue butterflies, da 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 And once we start, you know, creating that little list and we do it with things that are uncommon yet easy to manifest because we're trying to build our belief. We don't, you know, create this list of things that are going to set us up for failure. We want to create this list to show us the correlation between our thoughts and our current reality. So, you know, one of the things it was that really impacted me not that long ago is I was in Spencer's looking at stuff and they had all these neat wallets and I thought oh, I would really love a zebra wallet. And I didn't think much of it after that. I just thought about it and I said, I'd like one. I'm like, I'll probably find one somewhere. And then I went on with my day. Well, not kidding you. A week later, my mom brought me a zebra wallet. She was like, here, here's a zebra wallet. I was like, oh my goodness. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Why do I doubt anything? You know, why? Why? You know? It's those little things, okay, that are going to give you the experience to build your belief. And when you have all those experiences and you start building your belief because you have so much evidence, right? And then things like long distance relationship or what somebody said or, you know, um, anything, it doesn't matter anymore. You And you can also just say, look, at circumstances don't matter. I'm going to get what I want, okay? So yeah, I intend this video helps everybody. Remember guys, every single one of you guys are absolutely perfect. And you know, you create your reality and us here at Create Your Future, we intend you're going to be successful and everyone's going to have some sort of breakthrough from this video. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.